Welcome back to the Lenten Lessons on the Mass Premium Edition. So I'm walking you through the Mass little by little each day because I want to pass on to you the things I've learned and I've grown to love because the more you know, the more you can appreciate it, the more you can love it. So the Mass is basically two parts, as I explained previously. There's the Liturgy of the Word, and then there's the lit Liturgy of the Eucharist. So right now, we're in the Liturgy of the Word. And at a weekday Mass, there are usually at least three readings. The first reading, the Responsorial Psalm, and the Gospel. Today, I want to tell you about the Responsorial Psalm. Now, you don't usually use that word responsorial unless you're talking about the Mass and the responsorial psalm. But it's not that complicated. Even a third grader understands it because it comes from the word response. The priest or the cantor or the deacon says the first part and then the people respond. For instance, the priest would say, Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. And the people respond, Lord, every nation nation on earth will adore you. It's called a psalm, P-S-A-L-M, because it almost always comes from the book of Psalms in the Old Testament. And some scholars think almost all of these were composed by King David 1,000 years before Christ. Here's what's fascinating. Even though we read it or hear it in English, they're the exact same psalms Jesus would have heard or prayed or chanted in his own language 2,000 years ago. You are praying the same prayers that Jesus, Mary, and Joseph prayed. It can be spoken, it can be chanted, it can be sung, and they can have different themes depending on the Mass. Some of the psalms become very familiar to us and almost like old friends, like Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. And some of the music to it is very beautiful. I know Psalm 23 from the funeral mass. You've probably heard it before. Shepherd me, O God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. So we greatly appreciate what this does, and the psalm sets us up for the continual readings. But think about that. When you're praying or reading those psalms, they're the same psalms that Jesus heard or prayed 2,000 years ago. Did you like what you learned today? Well, there's a lot more where that came from, so stay tuned.